This is a picture of a young Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was a bodybuilder and Mr. Universe. And you can see what he's doing here is tucking into a very nutritious meal of what consists uh, of a two kilo steak, a loaf of bread, some juice, milk, and some vegetables and fruit. And what he's trying to do is provide his body with enough nutrition to fuel his workout. Now, just like Arnold, all living organisms take in raw materials from their environment, which are referred to as nutrients. And the process by which they take them in, in this particular case, Arnold is ingesting them through his mouth, uh, this process is called nutrition. So it differs from organism to organism. Some nutrients can actually be made by organisms from basic materials. So for example, plants are able to photosynthesize and create carbohydrates in the form of glucose, whereas we can't. So many nutrients that can't be made, such as humans, are not able to make carbohydrates, we're not able to make minerals. These nutrients have to be taken in from the outside source and they're referred to as essential nutrients. Now, organisms take in nutrients for two important reasons. One is that nutrients provide energy. And this energy is stored in the chemical bonds of carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. And organisms can use these molecules to generate ATP through cellular respiration. The second reason is that nutrients are the building blocks that make up living organisms. So simple fats, fatty acids, amino acids, Nucleotides, water, vitamins, and minerals are the raw materials that build, repair, and maintain living things. Now, the nutritional requirements of an organism are going to vary widely depending on uh, the type of molecules it's made from, its ability to make those molecules from raw materials, its stage of development, its level of activity and reproductive state, and the environment in which it lives. Organisms have different strategies for obtaining nutrients, and these can be broken down into two broad categories, which are autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are self-feeding, and these are organisms that can make their own food. Plants produce the organic molecules they need from simple inorganic molecules, which they obtain from their environment. So plants are unable to move about, and so they have developed strategies for obtaining nutrients. They use numerous branching roots to absorb water and minerals from the soil, and they also have leaves with a large surface area to trap sunlight and exchange gases with the atmosphere. Now most autotrophs, including plants, use sunlight energy to make glucose by combining carbon dioxide from the air with water through the process of photosynthesis. So photo means light and synthesis means to create. So what they're doing is creating glucose, which is a carbohydrate, by using light energy. And these are referred to as photoautotrophs. While most autotrophs use sunlight as a source of energy in order to convert inorganic molecules into organic molecules, there's a few autotrophic bacteria that obtain their energy by carrying out reactions that release energy between inorganic molecules rather than from sunlight. And this process is called chemosynthesis, and the bacteria are referred to as chemoautotrophs. The energy required from this process comes from the oxidation of inorganic molecules such as iron, sulfur, or magnesium. Chemoautotrophs are able to thrive in very harsh environments such as deep sea vents due to their lack of dependence on outside sources of carbon other than carbon dioxide. Chemoautotrophs include nitrogen-fixing bacteria located in the soil, iron-oxidizing bacteria located in lava beds, and sulfur-oxidizing bacteria located in deep sea thermal vents. So all animals, fungi, and many other microbes are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs, or other feeding, must get their nutrition by eating other organisms. 
they cannot simply use organic molecules to make glucose from which they can obtain energy like autotrophs can. So what they do is they convert the organic molecules they ingest into the types of organic molecules they require. And most animals move in order to maximise their nutritional intake. So in summary, all living organisms take in raw materials from their environment, which are referred to as nutrients. And the process by which they take them in is referred to as nutrition. Now essential nutrients cannot be made by organisms and have to be taken in from an outside source. And organisms have different strategies for obtaining nutrients, which can be broken down into two broad categories, autotrophs and heterotrophs.